Click Projects to check on the profitability of all your jobs. The Projects page lists all your current projects and provides a snapshot of each project's profitability. Click on a project to take a closer look. You can see the project's profit margin and a graph showing income versus costs at the top. Income comes from your sales, like invoices and sales receipts. When you start a new project and haven't entered anything, though, the income will be zero. And costs come from project expenses, checks, bills, and time you've entered for the job. You can see a summary of your income and costs here in the Overview tab. First, you see how much you've charged your customer for the project. QuickBooks breaks up the income by account, which comes from the products and services you sold. If you want to see the details behind these numbers, just click them to see the transactions. Then you see all the costs for the job. Employee time, entered through timesheets, is listed first, and then purchases recorded with expenses, checks, and bills show up second. Again, you can click any of the numbers here to see where they come from. And then you see your profit, which is the income from a project minus the costs. If you notice that something is missing, click Add to Project, and you can record items and work for the project. Let's take a deeper dive into project reports. The costs for a project include the hours you recorded at the hourly cost rate you set up for your employees. But because time entries are non-posting, these costs won't appear on the project profitability report. But you can see a detailed breakdown of these time costs on the time cost by employee or vendor report, which answers the question, who worked on this project and how much did it cost me? And if you marked any time or expenses as billable so that you could include it on an invoice to your customer later, you can keep track of what you still need to invoice them for with this report. Let's look at the Transactions tab. QuickBooks shows you everything that happened with this project except for non-billable time. And All Time is listed under the Time Activity tab. By default, you'll see time listed by month and employee. Just click this arrow and you can see each employee's time and costs for the project. But you can change how QuickBooks organizes the time with these menus. Once you've finished a project, it's a good idea to mark it as completed. That way, when you open the Projects page, you can focus on work that's still in progress. But you can still review old projects if you click this menu and choose All Statuses or Completed. Use projects to make sure each project your business takes on is on the right track.